So there's one last thing I want to show you this week, and that's called the implicit syntax. So implicit join syntax. What we've been using is called explicit join syntax, and it's called explicit because we've included the word join here. There's also implicit syntax, which does a join, but doesn't use the word join explicitly. So let's start with, I'll just do the same thing as this thing right here is doing. So select primary table, primary name from Title Basics. And then instead of using join with another table on, I'm just going to put a comma here and list the second table. Title Writers, and then comma, and then the third table, Name Basics. So in this From clause, you can put a comma separated list of tables. And you'll notice there's nowhere here to actually specify the match conditions. How do you match rows and title basics to rows and title writers, and then those rows to name basics? So the way you do that is you use the where clause. So where title basics .tconst is equal to title writers .tconst and title writers, I misspelled and, so and title writers dot nconst is equal to name basics dot nconst. And then let's go ahead and fill in the rest of that and title basics dot primary title is equal to apocalypse now and then order by primary name. So if I execute this query, and this should be primary title, not primary table, title. So let me execute that query. And that should be all of the writers from Apocalypse Now. And I ended up with 15 of them, which I think is right. So this looks correct. Um, so what's the difference between these two things? Well, there's a couple of differences. And uh, the first difference is that when I'm using the explicit syntax, I can also specify left join, right join, full join to specify how to deal with situations where um, a row in one table has no match in the other table. With the implicit syntax, there's no way to specify that. In older versions of SQL, there was a way of um, using stars around this equal sign to, um, to do left join, right join, full join, but um, that's not supported in more recent versions. Um, second difference is that here, I actually have to specify the condition after on. Um, unless this is a cross join, in which case there's no condition to specify, um, this syntax requires me to put a condition here, which is actually a good thing because one really common mistake people make when they're using implicit syntax is they forget to add one or more of these conditions in the WHERE clause and they end up with a cross join accidentally, um, which means a whole lot more rows are returning that should be returning, and most of those rows are junk. So this is a lot safer. The explicit syntax is a lot safer than the implicit syntax. And then third, we saw before um, that uh, um, the way this condition is handled is a little different than the way that this condition is handled. So this thing happens before the rows are joined together and uh, um, based on whether there's a matching row here or not, um, you're going to end up with a, a null for left joins, right joins, and full joins. Um, you can't do left joins, right joins, or full joins here at all anyhow, um, so that difference may be moot. but. Uh, 
but anything that happens in the where clause has to happen after the tables are joined together. So the way this works, it's actually going to create um, the cross product of all of these tables and then filter them out. Um, it may actually be more efficient to do that than that sounds given the, the database query engine, um, but at least conceptually that's what's happening. So bottom line is that this is less powerful than that. And this is also more error prone than this. So in terms of best practices, um, my advice is to stay away from the implicit syntax unless I explicitly ask you to write a query using the implicit syntax to prove that you understand the syntax. Um, generally, you want to avoid this version and use the explicit syntax instead.